Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. And this is the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward into another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Father God, we bless you today, God. We give you all the glory that's due unto your name. Father God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be thanked, God. You are worthy to be worshipped, God. You are worthy, hallelujah. We serve a worthy God. He's worthy of all the praises. He's worthy of all the honor. He's worthy of all the glory, hallelujah. And we give him all the praise because God, our God, he's a keeper. Your God is a keeper. He, the Bible says you are kept by the power of God. You are kept by the power of God. Your family is kept by the power of God. Your sons and daughters are kept by the power of God. Your loved ones are kept by the power of God. Your finances are kept by the power of God. Your household is kept. By the power of God, your bank account is kept. By the power of God, because we serve a God that's a keeper. He's keeping us. Hallelujah. He's keeping you. Hallelujah. He's keeping you in a pandemic. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, he's keeping you in a pandemic. He's keeping you in the pestilence. He's keeping you in a plague. He's keeping you in devastation. He's keeping you. He's keeping you right in the midst of famine. The whole world might be in famine, but he's keeping food on your table. He's keeping clothes on your back. He's keeping a roof over your head because we serve a God that's a keeper. He's keep. He's a keeper. He will keep you. I'm a living witness that thy God will keep you. Hallelujah. We bless you. We praise you, O oh God. We glorify your name, O oh God. You keeping us. You keeping us in a healthy condition. You keeping you keeping us in a joyful place. Father God, you are keeping us. You keeping us in the in a peaceful place. Peaceable habitations. He's keeping us in quiet dwelling places. He's a keeper. In the name of Jesus, he's keeping you from principalities, from powers, from the rules of darkness of this world. He's keeping you from this spiritual wickedness in high places. He's keeping you. He's keeping you from Corona. He's keeping you from the Delta variant. He's keeping you from every even mutation. He's a keeper. He's keeping you. He's keeping you today. You need to raise your hands and praise God because he's keeping you. Hallelujah. He's keeping us. And we bless his name. And we praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. He's keeping the church. He's keeping us. He's keeping us anointed. He's keeping you with power in your spirit, man. He's keeping you. Hallelujah. Just call upon the name of the Lord. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, set free, and delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he's giving you strength and power to fight the battle. Matter of fact, the battle really isn't even yours. The battle is God. He says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. For that enemy that, that, that you're looking at today, you will not continue to see that same enemy again no more. For the Lord is fighting for you. And all you need to do is hold your peace. That thing that you're looking at today, that dark thing, that tribulating thing, that troublesome thing, that problematic thing that you're facing today, he says you're not going to continue to see the same thing day after day, day after day, forever. He says, no, 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 no. God says, I'm going to intervene. 
He said, divine intervention. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what problem you're going through today. I don't know what trial or tribulation that you're going through today. I don't know what adversity or affliction that you're going through today. I don't know what negative circumstance or situation that you're going through today. But I hear the spirit of the Lord. He says, I'm decreeing over your life divine intervention. He's divinely intervening in your circumstances. God is divinely intervening in your situations. God is divinely intervening in that trial and tribulation. He's a, he's a God that intervenes. He's going to intervene for you. He's intervening for your family today. Just call upon the name of the Lord. Because I hear God saying, if you call upon my name, I will divinely intervene in your circumstances and situation, in your adversities, in your afflictions, in your problems, in the perils of life. I'm intervening, God says. Hallelujah. And he also says today, so then you can be protected in this evil day, so you can be protected in the evil time. He says, I'm giving you some keys. God says, I'm giving you some keys. God says, I'm giving you some keys today. The Bible says, in Matthew 16, 19, I'm giving you key, the keys of the kingdom of God. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That's what he says to the church. I'm giving you keys. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. God's giving us keys. God's giving you keys. He's giving the believer keys. How do we know we got keys? How, where did it originate from? We're in the Bible in Matthew 16, which is going to be our text scripture to be praying from. In Matthew 16, Jesus asks his disciples one day. He says, disciples, I'm paraphrasing. Disciples, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? Who do, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Who do people say that I am? He asked the disciples, what are people saying about me? What are people saying that I am? And they said, Jesus, some people are calling you John the Baptist. Some say that you're John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said, okay. I know what they're saying. They don't know me like you know me. They don't know me like you know me. So who do you say I am, disciples? And Peter jumped in. He said, you know what? He said, glory to God. He said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Peter says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus says, you know what, Peter? Flesh and blood did not reveal that unto you. Flesh and blood did not reveal that unto you, but my Father, which is in heaven. He said, and upon this rock, what rock? The rock of the revelation that Jesus is the Christ. The revelation or the rock is that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus says, upon that rock, that revelation, I'm going to build my church. Upon the rock of the revelation that I am the Christ, the son of the living God, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So he says today, I'm giving you keys. I'm giving you keys. The keys of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I'm giving you the keys of the kingdom of God. Keys. We got keys today. I'm giving you keys. And you know what keys do? They lock and unlock the keys of the kingdom they lock and unlock we got keys today they lock and unlock they bind and loose the Lord will bless me so much you know what saints I have to, I have to confess my faults to want to you right now I have a bad habit of leaving my keys in the door I have packages and bags I open the, open the door and I just walk in and put my bags on the table and I forget that I have left my keys in the door. I forget that I've left my keys in the door and the Holy Spirit will quicken me and say, Michelle, go check the door. In other words, go get your keys. 
If I leave my keys in the door in the natural, it don't take a thief and a robber to come in and come into my home. It don't take a thief and a robber. They just walk in. They have easy access. It's an open door policy because the key's in the door. And I hear the Holy Spirit today saying to us, some of us have left our keys in the door. We didn't lock and unlock. We didn't lock the door behind us. We left keys in the door. And I hear him say, go back and get your keys. Hallelujah. Go back and get your keys. Your keys will lock and unlock your wealth. Your keys will lock and unlock your health. They lock and unlock. They bind and loose. One scripture says in the Amplified Version, the classical Amplified Version, it says that not only does it bind and loose, but it, it, it also, when you, whatever you bind on earth, the Bible says in the Amplified Version of the classic Amplified Version, whatever you bind on earth or whatever you declare to be lawful on earth, is all is unlawful in heaven. What you declare to be proper, improper, and unlawful on earth is improper and unlawful in heaven. And whatever you declare to be lawful on earth is lawful in heaven. It says it's already done. It's already whatever you bind is already bound in heaven. Whatever you deem to be lawful on earth is already deemed unlawful in heaven. It's already done. See, we are law enfor enforcers. We are law enforcers. We don't make up the law. We enforce the law. He said, whatever you deem to be lawful on earth is already lawful in heaven. Whatever you deem to be unlawful on earth is already unlawful in heaven. And what if you deem to be lawful on earth is already lawful in heaven. You deem what is lawful. You deem or declare what is lawful or unlawful. You bind and loose. That's what keys do. Keys forbid and permit. Whatever you forbid on earth is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth is already permitted in heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth is already permitted in heaven. That's what keys do. We got the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you prohibit on earth is already prohibited in heaven. And whatever you authorize on earth is already authorized in heaven. We got keys today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got keys today. So I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you say that is... Whatever you allow on earth, it's already allowed in heaven. And whatever you disallow on, on earth, it's already disallowed in heaven. You got keys today. You got whatever you approve on earth, it's already approved in heaven. And whatever you disapprove on earth, it's already disapproved in heaven. You got keys today. And you have the authority to cancel stuff. You can cancel out the works of the enemy. You cancel out his plots. You cancel out his tricks and his ploys and his schemes. You cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, it's all, always in the mighty name of Jesus. You can do nothing on your own. You, you don't operate in the kingdom on your own. You don't use your keys on your own. It's always backed up by, the, by, the he, by heaven. Heaven backs you up. Is you always pray in the name of Jesus. When you pray in the name of Jesus, heaven backs you up. And like I said, you have authority to cancel stuff in the kingdom. You cancel the plots of the enemy. You cancel his tricks. You cancel his ploys. You can cancel his, his, his devilment. You cancel it out. You can annihilate it, disintegrate it, obliterate it in the name of Jesus and eradicate it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So now we understand today about the keys of the kingdom of God. Let's use them in prayer. Come on, let's use them. Father God, we give you praise. Father God, we give you glory, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you today that you've given us unto us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. 
the keys of the kingdom of God. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We take authority over this coronavirus. We take authority over this Delta variant and every evil mutation that will try to spring from it. Hallelujah. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We bind it on earth in the name of Jesus. We bind you, Satan. We cancel all your tricks. We cancel your assignment on the earth realm. We cancel your assignment on the earth realm to kill and to steal and to destroy. We cancel you out. We annihilate you, obliterate you, eradicate you, and disintegrate all your tricks and plans right now. And this Delta variant, we, we speak to it. We speak to Corona. We cancel it out in the name of Jesus. We bind the power of the wicked one. We bind Satan in the name of Jesus. We bind it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We forbid you to touch our family members. We under the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our loved ones. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our children. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our family members. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our household. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the church. We plead the blood of Jesus upon us in the name of Jesus. We forbid you in Jesus' name to attack. To, to try to try to you will not attack our family and take us out you will not we forbid you I know you want to attack us and take us out but we forbid you in the name of Jesus we using our keys today we forbid you in Jesus name and we thank you that the kingdom the protection of God is permitted in our lives is flowing in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven Whatever you lose, your nurse should be lifted in heaven. We come against sickness and disease. My Bible tells me that by Jesus Christ we are healed. So we prohibit in the name of Jesus. We prohibit you for, for still it stealing our, our health in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he has, God has given us health. He's caused us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers in the mighty name of Jesus. He's given us, he's given us health. He's able to cause you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers in the mighty name of Jesus. We prohibit sickness. We prohibit disease. We prohibit cancer. We prohibit the coronavirus. We prohibit flu. We prohibit heart attack. We pro prohibit rheumatoid arthritis. All kinds of arthritis. We prohibit heart ailments. We prohibit hypertension. We prohibit sugar diabetes. We prohibit it in the name of Jesus. We prohibit it. That's part of our keys. We prohibit it. And we authorize in the name of Jesus that we are healed by the word of God. He said, yeah, I sent my word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Healing is authorized in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing is authorized in our, in, our, in our lives in the name of Jesus. It's authorized. He says, I, Jesus said, I took your infirmity. I bore your sickness and disease. And with my stripes you are healed. So healing is authorized and, and disease is prohibited. It's the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you prohibit on earth is already permitted, prohibited in heaven. And whatever you authorize on earth is already authorized in heaven. It's already done. We don't make up the law. We enforce the law. You have to enforce the law. If you don't enforce the law, the devil going to run a ramp shot in your household. Ramp shot in your neighborhood. Ramp shot in your community. If you have to enforce the law, that's what we do doing now in prayer. You get in your prayer closet and enforce the law. Satan, you ain't killing nobody in my family. You tell him, you're not killing nobody. We live in and not down and clear the works of the Lord. We prohibit you. We forbid you in Jesus' name. We disallow you in Jesus' name. You're not killing nobody. We're going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. We enforcing the law. The law of God's word says he says that he will satisfy us with long life. That we will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. So early death, premature death untimely death in our, in our family I'm praying for you today I'm pr praying together it's prohibited it's disallowed it's forbidden in Jesus name hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus God we give you praise whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus.
keys lock and unlock. Our kingdom keys bind and loose. Our kingdom keys forbid and permit. Our kingdom keys prohibit and authorize. Our kingdom key keys allow and disallow. And our kingdom keys can cancel, annihilate, abrivolate, eradicate, and disintegrate. We take authority of the Delta variant. We annihilate you, disintegrate you, eradicate you, obliterate you, and blow you to smithereens off of the earth realm. In the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to this coronavirus, this Delta variant, in Jesus' name. Untimely death. We, we disintegrate it, annihilate it, obliterate it, eradicate it, and blow it to smithereens in the name of Jesus Christ. Right off the earth realm. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's unlawful for you, Satan, to try to steal, kill, and destroy us. It's unlawful. And we declare it to be unlawful. And what is lawful? Living life and life more abundantly. Living with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Living with the peace of God that's a pass of understanding. Living a, a carefree life without fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. We got keys today. I have given you to the keys of the kingdom. Upon this rock, Jesus said, I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We got keys today. God, we give you praise. We give you glory, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children in Jesus is kept as they go back to school in the school systems. They are kept by the power of God. We disallow you to afflict them, Satan. We disallow it in Jesus' name. We forbid it. We forbid it. We cancel out the assignment against our children. You will not take them into drugs. You will not take them to, to rape. You will not have them raped. You will not have them abuse, sexually abused, mentally abused, verbally abused. You will not. We forbid it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not have them dibbling, dabbling, dibbling and dabbling in the occult. We forbid it. We disallow it in the name of Jesus. We declare it to be unlawful and illegal in the earth realm. Not for our children. Our children will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And they will, will be brought up in the things of God. And in the, in, the, and in the kingdom of God. They will live for God all the days of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. We lift up our elderly, our elderly loved ones in the name of Jesus. They're going to live a long and prosperous life. They're going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. You will not, we forbid you to try to try to put Alzheimer's on them and dementia on them in, in, in any type of age-related disease. We, de we, we decree and declare it to be un unlawful and unlegal for you to do that to them. We declare, decree it and declare it. It's forbidden. It's disallowed in the mighty name of Jesus. We're using our keys. We're not going to leave, leave our keys in the front door so Satan can walk into our homes and steal, kill, and destroy us. We're going to go get our keys. Go get your keys back. Pick up your keys and use them in your prayer life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you praise. We give you glory, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, we bind you in Jesus' name. You will not steal our wealth. God has already taken the church into their wealthy place. He will not steal your wealth. Lack is not the children's bread. Wealth is the children's bread. More than enough is the children's bread. Increase is the children's bread. In Jesus' name. We forbid lack in our lives. We, we forbid decrease in our lives. We, we forbid it. We prohibit you for stealing our finances. Because we are tithers and givers. And the windows of heaven are open over us. In Jesus name. He's already took, taken us, to, us into our wealthy place. He's already taken you into your wealthy place. In Jesus name. You will see increase and not decrease. Replenishment and not de 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 diminishing it diminishment you will see re you will see replenishment 
not decrease and things that diminish you in Jesus name because we forbid it to happen we forbid it we're not allowing you Satan to do that to us we know the law the law of God's word says that we will prosper in being health the word of God says that the blessing of the Lord makes us rich and have no sorrow the word of God says delight yourself in the Lord he will give you the desires of your heart the word of God says the silver is God's the gold is God's and he gives it to us as children of God we know the law we don't make up the law we enforce it you enforce the word of God in the earth realm you deem what is lawful depending on what is in the word of God whatever is in the word of God for us is lawful and legal in the earth realm and you have to enforce it you have to enforce the word of God you have to enforce the word of God you enforce it you don't make up the law you enforce the law you enforce the God by using his God's holy word and Satan has to obey so that the good part about he has to obey the word of God so just enforce it go get your keys I've given unto you God says the keys of the kingdom of heaven Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Your keys lock and unlock. They forbid and permit. They prohibit and authorize. They allow and disallow. You could do declare what is legal and unlawful in the earth realm. And you declare and decree it in the earth realm. You approve or disapprove in, in the earth realm. You have the keys to do it. That's what the that's what that's what the binding and loosing all means. Binding and loosing mean all these things. Forbidding, permitting, prohibit, prohibiting, authorizing, allowing, disallowing, declaring what's legal and lawful, and declaring what's illegal and unlawful. To approve and disapprove. And it's all done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We got keys today. The Holy Spirit says, Go get your keys. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for authorizing us to pray with authority, according to your word. Amen. Now, for those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I'm here to say God wants to give you keys today that will unlock and unlock your destiny. Today, your destiny can be unlocked to you if you come to Jesus and receive him as your personal Savior. If you want Jesus Christ today as your personal Savior, I'm, an, I'm, I'm authorized to lead you in a simple prayer that will lead you to salvation. Come on, let's pray. Pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you said in your word, if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead, I will be saved. Come on, repeat after me. You said in your word, if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I confess it. And with my heart, I believe it. If you said that simple prayer, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved today. You are saved, saved, saved. You are a child of the Most High God. What you need to do as a born-again believer, you need to read your Bible. Get a Bible and read it. Read it from Genesis to Revelation. Read that Bible. Talk to God in prayer. Just talk to him. Like, like it's your best friend. Because he is a friend. Because he gets closer than a brother. Pray. Like we do here on the prayer connection. Read your Bible and pray. And join yourself to a church. Let God lead you to a church. That you can grow with other believers. If you do those things. You'll be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. In the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to the family. In Jesus name. Well alright y'all. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection where you make a connection with heaven. Okay, saints. Love y'all. Bye-bye. See you next time. Amen.